guys here welcome hope you guys are feeling good my name is Pukumi. so our islamis overrun my country lebanon i come from a country lebanon used to be the only majority christian country in the middle east most people don't know that when they think of the middle east they think it's all islamic countries mm -hmm. but uh lebanon is the only majority christian country in the middle east um, we were open-minded, we were fair, we prided ourselves on our multiculturalism, we welcomed uh, everyone to our country, especially from the surrounding Arabic countries, because we wanted to share with them the westernization which we had created in the heart of the Middle East. Um, Muslims used to send their children to come study in our universities because we had built the best universities in the Middle East. They graduated and worked in our economy uh, because we had built the best economy in the Middle East, even though we did not have any oil. Mm -hmm. um, Lebanon was known as Paris of the Middle East, the banking capital of the Middle East. Um, and as Christians, we focused on education. Education was very important to us. You know, we educated girls and boys, you know, no difference. Um, uh, we were living the good time. Unfortunately, all that began to change um, by the 70s because of two things. The, lar the enlargement of the Islamic population in Lebanon, because we Christians marry one spouse until death do us part. Oh. Uh, we don't have many kids. Muslims, on the other hand, are allowed to marry up to four, four wives. wives at a time. Now, of course, not all of them do it, but enough of them do it that in our country, in Lebanon, the, by the 70s, the Muslims became the majority. Mm -hmm. And once they became the majority, they started massacring the Christians and killing the Christians. Um, I remember in 1974, um, we stopped traveling. Um, we, we used to go spend Christmas and Easter in Beirut with the rest of my family. And we stopped traveling and I would ask my father, why aren't we going to Beirut for Christmas this year? And my daddy would say to me, well, we just decided to stay home this year. And you know, I couldn't understand why. And later I learned is because Muslims started setting up fly by night uh, checkpoints and they would stop Christian cars traveling wow. and when they would get people out of the car and look at their ID and find out that this is a Christian family traveling because in Lebanon our religion is written on our national ID on our on your driver's license on your passport so when they see that this is a Christian family traveling they would get everyone out of the car and shoot them in cold blood so we became prisoners to our homes and our cities and our communities um, and that's the reason why we stopped going anywhere. By 1975, uh, that's when the war broke out, the Civil War. And the war broke out because Muslims walked into a church on a Sunday morning and began uh, firing, shooting at Christian worshipers and uh, injured hundreds and killed four people. And that's what started out the all, uh, all-out war. And... Um, it was a very difficult time for the Christians because as the Muslims organized and now supported by the oil money flowing out of Saudi Arabia and all the Muslim countries, they wanted to basically use Lebanon as a base from which to fight Israel, kill the Jews and drive them into the sea using Lebanese democracy and Lebanese open-mindedness and tolerance uh, to do exactly that. And that's really when my world turned upside down and, and, and um, it changed. Uh, L Lebanon was so multi-faith and multicultural, so we had Druze, Muslims, Christians, Protestant. The majority were Christians. We were over almost 70% Christians when we got our independence in the 40s. But because of the way Muslims multiply, you know, with the multiple wives and multiple kids, in 30 years they became the majority. Mm -hmm. And when, when we got our independence from France and Lebanon, um, because we are, you know, Judeo-Christians, you know, come from Judeo-Christian culture, we're very fair. So we made sure we divided the government to make sure that Muslims have representation. So the, the president of the country was Christian, the prime minister was a Muslim, um, the prime minister, um, you know, the secretary of state, we had different assignments for different religions. But the Muslims became the majority. And once they became the majority, they were no longer tolerant of the people who took them in and accepted them and included them in the country. They felt they were not a part of the country. They felt they were a part of the Islamic Ummah or the Islamic nation. Okay. So when they turned against their brethren, Christians, who lived in the same country, and Jews, um, but specifically the Christians, they began massacring us in large numbers because they thought we are in power now and therefore we set the rules on how things should be. 
and that's really what drove the country into war. We had the problem controlled when it was only the Christians in Lebanon and the Muslims in Lebanon, but what aggravated the situation was the influx of the Palestinians out of Jordan um, who came to Lebanon, and Lebanon was the only country who took them in. Uh, because we were the only country that accepted the third wave of Palestinian refugees while the Muslim countries did not want them. And um, that's what really changed the situation. That's what tipped the scale. Mm. Wow. Wow, guys, I'm speechless. I don't even know how to start my comment on this matter. So she explained how Islam or Muslims took over Lebanon. I was shocked to hear that Lebanon was once a Christian country. We all heard what happened, how, you know, people started coming to the country to school, and based on the religion, Islam, you know, Islam allowed men to marry more than one wife. You can marry up to four wives. So, anytime they go to Lebanon for studies, some of them will be, uh, they will, you know, be based there, they will relocate to the place, they will stay there permanently, marry like four wives and out of the four wives maybe each of them give birth to like four four children so the population was increasing gradually so within 30 years muslims was having the major population before it was christianity i know christianity you know most is not compulsory most homes marry only one wife and depending on the number of children they want you get it even though she was smiling while talking about this you could see that she was really pained to explain this thing because she felt sad that the country in which you know was majorly you know majorly christian country muslim came to take over she even explained how civil war happened like i don't know this is just a very sad story to listen to because ha <sighs> The part that even touched me was when she said normally she and her family they go on vacation but there was a particular you know period they could not go for vacation but as time goes on she got to understand that anybody that tried to travel they killed the christians who tried to travel to another place for you to be safe just have to stay in your homes my question is that when all those things were happening how were christians surviving i'm sure some of the christians might even deny their religion because now that they notice oh you know just imagine something takes over the population is higher in this compared to this whereas it was the other way around before most people based on their safety their security they will not want to claim any religion they will not even want to accept that they are christian so that they can survive so that they can protect their loved ones i think that's what would have happened back then all these things all the stories she made mention happened in the 1970s so she's just trying to tell us the history of Islam from our own country during their time and that was so sad to listen to Oof. Let me know your point of view regarding this topic because I'm kind of speechless. I don't even know what to say because That was so painful painful to listen to let me know your thoughts. Let's keep the discussion going. I'll see you in the next one. Bye